Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Chad here with you. This is the Dorky and 40 channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or reach out to me somehow. So right now we're going to take a look at the March drone drop box, which honestly I'm kind of disappointed in, but I've kind of just figured that these drop boxes are just what they are. You pay $40 for them and you get some stuff you like and get some stuff you don't like. My girlfriend also subscribes to many makeup type drop boxes that she gets, BoxyCharm, this and that. And the bottom line is there's just not enough money in FPV and everybody's just out to get themselves. I mean, her BoxyCharm box this month was a special box that cost $50 and had over $250 worth of retail value. People actually want to put their products in the box and they're willing to sell them at cost or just a little bit over cost or who knows, even under. But, you know, the makeup business obviously has way bigger markup than the quad business and stuff like that. But I don't think we'll ever see anything like that in this hobby. We probably are kind of just left with this 60 to $70 value for our $40 price. But at the same time, we want relevant gear, you know, and oh, man, it's it's tough. Like, I don't know. St I don't really care about stickers anymore. I mean, I know people love them, but it's like save the money, man. Like, I, I give me some Velcro straps or something, really. Um, XT60 uh, rubber caps. I think these are like, you know, things to put over the end of your batteries. Yeah, I mean, I could care less about these. There's 20 of them here. The one good thing about Drone Drop has been the props that you get. And usually they're right, like a, a prop that's getting ready to come out, which is really cool. And then you can usually pick up some of them in the store at a discount. Like I loaded up on like S3 props and one of the 5.1s. This is an HQ 5.1. 3.6 by three, three sets of these in gray. Um, so, you know, you always get good props. These look pretty cool. So we can take a look at the props here on the bench. Ignore this beautiful hardware underneath here that of course did not come in the drone drop box. And then, you know, TBS has its involvement. We got these ethics things and they were kind enough to send us a pen and we also got a little pocket scale here which you know i have a nice calibrated scale so i really don't need that and last but not least a fly color 2 to 4s 30 amp bl heli s esc so do i think that i got my value out of this box no no way at all and that's kind of a shame because usually i if i get kind of lax and i'm like not happy with the box that i get i'll go online and buy some stuff that maybe i like the props or something in the box but i probably won't even do that this time i definitely am not going to be buying another scale but you know it just kind of is what it is the quad boxes and stuff just aren't any they aren't any better you know, so it's not like you can go and pick another vendor and get like way better stuff for the same price. But I mean, honestly, a pen in the box to me is kind of like an insult. Sorry. So, you know, when you see this little thing over here that uh, subscribe to the box, you know, I mean, we'll see. They, so supposedly next month is going to be great and i was okay with last month so i got you know these uh box cutter motors which are supposed to uh not last very well they're kind of like the quality of the sam gooks but you know i think i think that uh i think that they need to like go back and kind of look at what their ultimate goal is i know they came out with a cheaper box you know, but when you're selling probably, I mean, I can't imagine they have any more than 250 to 300 consistent customers. It's probably less than that. I've seen videos behind the scenes that like 
X hover where they're packing the quad boxes and I probably see like a couple hundred boxes there at most and you got to figure some of those are for shipping because anything that I get from Kyle or Cam comes in a drone drop box now so you know I pay eight dollars for shipping that big box so there's you kind of lose a little bit of that savings in the store unless you buy a little bit more but hey it is what it is I've just basically just came to the realization that if I want to keep subscribing to this, I'm just going to have to like work with what I got and be happy about the surprise or the disappointment, whatever, when you open it up, just the excitement of getting it, kind of feeling like a kid and seeing what's inside. And every once in a while, you're going to get something that's pretty cool. Like for instance, I wouldn't have this Source 2 quad if it wasn't for Drone Drop. I would have never bought these motors. I would have never built this frame or bought it and I never would have printed that 3D printed canopy, that kind of stuff. So, but you know, 50 bucks would have bought me another flight long flight controller or a Bolt 32. So yeah, you can see why I'm kind of disappointed in that fly color ESC. That's it guys. We'll talk to you later.